All right. <clears throat> All right, back. Let's see what we got here. I can't turn it. An arm extended in friendship or supplication? Huh. Hard to tell. Certainly look it's made of plastic. No murder here. Good. The only thing I'd get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. It's a sturdy, impenetrable gate. I can't budge it. It needs a dime to work. I'd say that leads somewhere I don't want to go. Now he also has a speck of dust. Hmm. Oh wait, there's another speck of dust back there. We <laughs> really collected these specks of dust. Sealed shot. No way to open it. I can't turn these one either. coin return slot it's a payphone insert dime to make a call an empty coin return slot hmm can't pull that it's made of plastic no murder here hmm there's no film in the camera you have one fucking picture Monkey paw knows. Thanks. No way I'm touching that. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm Madame Marina. Are you here for the hexes, the summer blowout sale, or, or uh, based on those suits you're wearing, my tax records? I don't get too many visits from suited and booted federal agents these days. I'm Agent Ray. If you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear. For now. Well, all right then. How can I help? Do you know anything about the body by the river? I know everything that goes on around here. Okay, so spill it. Okay, so I don't know everything right this minute. <laughs> But if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty, I can find the answers you're looking for. What do you need to help us find the killer? I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. But I can't really reach out into the void without a little bit of... 
the assistance. <laughs> if you can get me an agaricus fungus visionum delectamentum mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. I'm pretty sure that's a controlled substance. And your point is... What is this place? It's the county's primary source of occult books, knowledge, and services. You need hexes, curses, cure-alls, or curios? You come to me. Okay. I get the idea. You need voodoo, hoodoo, fortunes, or flimflams? You <laughs> come to me. Enough. I get it. Jeez. You need cough drops or coffee filters? Hey, you go to the quickie, pal. Can you really hex people? I sure can, no matter what the consumer watchdog service says. Might not always come out exactly as you want, but spirits work in mysterious ways. So if you have any complaints, take it up with them. Did you hex that idiot clown, Ransom? I'm very proud of that curse. He was being a jerk and he needed a little beat down with the karma bat. Remind me never to piss you off. Goodbye. I can't reach that. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Some of these bugs. Walk to Wickerleaks. Someone had to sit down and make all of this shit up. Mysterious force must be holding it in place. Look at the doors curse, too. Hey, if you see a dime, it's mine. I lost my dimes somewhere. No, it's not where I want to go. Since you're with the government, I guess you're entitled to some tape. Just go easy on it. We're almost out. Well, shit, I didn't realize I picked up that head. Pretty disgusting head. There's a small name tag. Set the navigator's head. Hmm. Ugh. Smells awful. Mm -hmm. 
It's a piece of sticky tape. I'll keep it outside of the kit. Where this hotel's at? Where the convention's at? Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. She looks like a dog, doesn't she? Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. <laughs> Fine, it was my sister Dolores. Liar. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... A hooker, like her sister? <laughs> no, no, no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. <laughs> it all started a few years back. Uh... She only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. <laughs> Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. God, now I'm a little girl. Find the ideal job. Check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Escape from Tibbleweed Park. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie. Hot from the oven. Just carrying it this around with me. This thimbleberry pie is a miracle. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention. The Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. My state-of-the-art Commodore 64 <laughs> is turned on now. I'm bored playing games. I want a job at Mucus Phlegm so I can make games. I should check the mailbox. Maybe my computer magazine's arrived with some new game reviews. That doesn't seem to work. These are in mint condition. No <laughs> way I'm going to touch them. All right, fair enough. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. The 
This house makes total sense. Ouch! No pinching. We're in a Scooby Doo cartoon. <laughs> if it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. <laughs> it's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Uh, I knew that the, this logo was going to look like that. <laughs> um, wow, an ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. Better not. That might start a fire. <laughs> that was the plan. <laughs> sure, whatever movies the Mucus Flim makes are going to suck. It's a log of firewood. This log should burn really well now. <laughs> All right, good. Carefully handling broken glass. <laughs> there we go. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. Is that my doorbell? Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. Or not, that might start a fire. The 
This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. Cool. Lots of books, but you have to know what you're looking for. It says out of order. The sign the sign says it's out of order. The sign says it's out of order. I don't care. Chuck the plant? Chucky has been sitting here forever. I don't want to move him now. This is David Webster. I can't, I can't get to the phone right now, uh, but if you leave a name and number after the beep, and I'll, I'll get back. I wonder if they had the Kickstarter people as as record can. messages for these. If so, that's fantastic. Put a check beside it. Called him. Five nine four two. Let's try another. Hello. You've got through to David, Rusty, and Indy Fells. I'm afraid we can't take your call right now. If you'd like to leave a message after the beep, we'll get back to you. The fact that they included their Kickstarter people to that level is really fantastic. God, I wish I'd known about this Kickstarter, honestly. Like, this is totally my type of game, and that, that type of shit is fucking amazing. Um, how, how do I get in my room now? Is this one my room? No. How the fuck did I get back to my room? I don't know where my room was at. Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! <laughs> the company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toy-tronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? Stay I'm getting so them. sick of this. Your brothers! Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. You know. I have some work to do. You Dolores, know. can you get my 0.8 millimeter point-tip soldering iron? 
You know, Uncle Chuck. You know. You should use a two millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's Yo, my fool. favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. I'm not going to drink from something without reading the label. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. Hmm, so it did breathe fire. Huh. Wow. Okay. All right, let's uh There's a cat of nine tails up there? What happens in here? Take the letter back. I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets real angry if I'm too nosy about his business affairs. That doesn't seem to work. I don't see no soldering iron. Flask of extreme chilies. Whoa. Nice. 